Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to revamp an old wig. And um, above you'll just see the supplies you'll need, just some lightener, developer, and brushes and combs and stuff like that. I got this wig a couple of years ago from my first wig. It was a Raven Elise inspired wig and I just, well, I have nothing else to do in the house really so I decided to revamp it. So right now you're just going to see me take my developer which is Wella's Blondor I believe. Um, I don't know if everybody will have access to that. I am a licensed cosmetologist, so some people may be able to get it, some people may not be. And I'm just mixing it with the developer until it gets the consistency I wanted at. Um, for bleach, I don't really measure. Some people do, but I don't really see it as necessary for me. So I'm just getting it to where it's so thick, but just a little bit runny, so it's easier for me to spread throughout the hair and make sure every strand gets coated. And then I decided to try a new technique, because I wouldn't really be that upset if I messed up this wig. <laughs> it did come out okay, but... I just want to try something new. So I'm just going to take um, small to medium sections and then I'm just going to brush the hair up as you can see me doing right now. And what this is doing is just basically it will help with blending and you're thinning out the hair. So that way when you put the lightener on you rinse everything out, you comb the hair down and there's not really a line of demarcation and your highlights will be blended. So I'm just putting some foil down because I didn't feel like getting gloves out honestly. And that's gonna just keep my hands from getting bleach on them but I would recommend gloves because some spots in my hands did end up getting some bleach burns on them it wasn't anything too bad it just stung a little bit but you can just watch me put the lightener on and then I'll check back in with you guys later With this technique, it's going to help from creating harsh lines when you're lightening the hair, but try to keep um, in mind that when you are getting closer to the root, to keep your brush vertical and just do light strokes so that way it just ensures that there are no harsh lines at all and that when you wash everything out, everything's going to look blended and there will be no lines of demarcation.
All right, now that I'm getting to the front section, I wanted the front to be a little bolder than the back. So I'm not gonna be doing any back combing. I'm just gonna take slightly thinner sections. Then I'm gonna go in with my brush vertical again and just kinda make strokes where I want the highlights to be. So you can see that I'm kind of not bringing all the, all the lightener all the way up to the top. I'm just making strokes where I want each exact highlight to be when I'm finished. And then after you're done applying all the lightener, you just want to let the hair process for about 30 to 40 minutes and then you end up with something like this. So in this lighting, it looks kind of like strawberry blonde, but in other lighting, I couldn't decide if it either looked grassy or if it just looked like it was supposed to look like that. So I did go in with um, a lighter permanent color just to tone it a little bit, but it looks fine just the way it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.